What up, family? This is your girl, Jay, with Gulag Ichi Tiro. I want to thank y'all for tuning in. But as y'all know, okay, you already know, we're going to go ahead and set this anthem and going to go ahead and set this thing right, okay? It's Gulag Ichi Tiro, Gulag Ichi Tiro, Gulag Ichi Tiro, Gulag Ichi Tiro. Gulag Ichi Tiro. Bring y'all fine asses in here and close my goddamn door so you don't let out my air. <clears throat> all right, listen. Your girl got a little bit of, uh, uh, okay, it ain't the big, all right, I just um been, honestly, like dead ass, I have been so, so tired lately, and I know it was just this transition and transformation that I was going through, and I just needed to allow my body to take the rest that it needs. Today, it's been like a week or two, maybe about a week, but today I feel so refreshed. I have a sound mind. My energy is good. So I wanted to extend that energy to y'all just in case if you need it, okay? Because I love you and you know it. <laughs> All right, so this reading today is basically about, um, I'm sorry if y'all hear that sizzle. Your girl is trying to multitask. So <laughs> I am cooking some chicken and rice. I'm meal prepping and I'm about to cook some broccoli too. But I was like, let me just go ahead and get this video out. So if you hear the sizzle, that means y'all might be getting spicy. <laughs> hey, listen. I already pre-shuffled this deck. And what came out, just to save time, what came out of this deck was the Fool and the Empress. So the divine counterpart, the divine energy is already here. So let's go. Okay. Spirit, what do we have for my divine feminine and my divine masculine? Okay. So someone that caused some confusion, and I'm getting um, King of Wands, so um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, someone that caused confusion, they are trying to come back, okay? They're like, bring that ass here, like DC Young Fly from I'm Wilding Out say, bring that ass here. They are trying to do that. This person wants a new beginning with you. They are trying to manifest some type of victory. I feel like they cause a lot of drama too. Like they cause a lot of drama. We got the five of swords and then we had the five of wands in this deck too. I definitely feel like they cause a lot of drama. They could have been also very manipulative when I see this five of swords and king of wands. But they also could kind of suffer from some type of mental, like mental health issue and stuff like that. They're coming in to bring in clarity. I feel like this person was very deceitful um, and deceit, deceitful. Y'all not going to come for me, okay? Like, I'm already laughing at you myself. Y'all not going to come for me. This person was very deceitful about how they felt about you. They were very, very deceitful. They were so guarded. And they could have had <clears throat> past issues from relationships. Hey, listen, if I got to get up and check on my food, let your girl do that, okay? Whoa, here goes the emperor. Listen, this is like a very strong connection. Hold on, y'all. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> this is a very, very strong connection. I also feel like this person could have been, I'm hearing coward. <laughs> I gotta go with what I go with. I'm hearing that they could have been very cowardly um, and wasn't stepping into that divine emperor energy, okay? Or, or feminine, you know? Get in where you fit in, okay? This person is trying to hold on for dear God to this relationship. <laughs> they are holding on for dear God to this relationship. We have the four of wands. We have the four of pentacles. And then we have the king of cups. This person is holding on to this relationship because they deeply love you. And then we have the ten of pentacles. They see long term with you. Okay? Like you are the creme de la creme. They are... 
they are coming in with some heavy communication. We have the King of Swords, we have the Eight of Wands, and then the Two of Swords. So this person, they could have been indecisive in the past. They could have blocked you emotionally. They also could have been very, the King of Swords is like militant. Um, they can also come across as cold and very logical. So I feel like this person really did not tap into their emotional energy. I'm just looking at the time to make sure I'm good. But they are coming in with communication. This has been weighing heavy on them. They could have also treated you really wrong. So this could have been a one-sided relationship. It's weighing very heavy on them. Okay. I'm hearing I want to make things right. I want to fix this. Ooh, I got the gooseies. I got the gooseies. Sometimes when I get a, a, a very intense download from spirit, like I get the gooseies, but my body kind of also jumps a little bit. What the fuck did I just say? What the fuck did I just say? There is going to be, this person is coming in. They are coming in. They want to talk to you. Okay. They want to talk. Can we talk? Ooh, for a minute, girl, I want to know your name. Can we talk for a minute, girl, I want to know your name. They want to talk about this relationship. They want to have a relation and make relations. <laughs> My bad, y'all. My bad. But yeah, they this blockage, this blockage that you guys have had, this separation is taking a toll on them, but it was needed. This was divinely guided. It was needed to force this person to ascend, okay, and realize the error of their ways. Okay, so you guys could have been like in like an in-between phase where things were feeling stagnant, but it's not because it was stagnancy. It was a time for healing and reflection and growth and expansion, okay? Maybe that's why my ass was feeling so goddamn tired. Uh, Y'all, I was so tired. Like, I only went to the gym one day last week. Like, I could not get it together. This person is having anxiety. They're also having like a lot of um, sleepless nights because they've been, they're being pulled and called to message you. I might have to get up again, y'all. They're being pulled and called to message you, <clears throat> okay, to bring back in this balance. Baby, they about to come in. Y'all about to have some um, makeup yum yum. And I feel like this person, they love your yum yum sauce, okay? <laughs> believe I just said that <laughs> but they love it all right they are now seeing that you the shit they're seeing that you the shit you're over here I also feel like somebody may be doing a lot of self-care when I see the queen of pentacles is somebody that's nurturing but when I see the six of ones I feel like you might be nurturing yourself and building your self-confidence okay and I feel like you're protecting yourself as well like you're not gonna let nobody I feel like you could be also stepping into your divine feminine energy but you're going to start protecting yourself. You're not going to let nobody come in and run up on no shit, okay? Hold on, y'all. It smells good up in here. Listen, I am cooking my mama favorite, and if she see this video, she really going to feel some type of way. Ma, I love you. You know I do, okay? I really, really do. But I don't want my um I don't want my food to burn. Cause your girl hungry and this is gonna last me for the next two days maybe. <laughs> but you know what I'm over here, what y'all cooking? What y'all cooking? And how it tastes. It's Sunday, it's usually like soul food day. What y'all got going on? Talk to me about it. Put it in the comments too. Let me know. I might need some new recipes. I be always meal prepping the same thing. I mean, it'd be good though, but I stay
they meal prepping the same thing. So my grocery list don't fluctuate. <laughs> I'm not cheap, I'm frugal, okay? So let me do me. And don't judge me. All right, and I'm back. So yeah, somebody is definitely starting to realize their glow and their, their confidence. And they're about to glow the fuck up. Yeah, this I told you, I'm not lying to y'all. I'm not lying. Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, this person is coming in with some heat. <laughs> They're coming in with their heat. They, I feel like a cycle had to be closed out. Um, so maybe this person had to heal some emotional issues when it came to commitment. Yep, that's what it is. Okay, so someone had to close out a cycle of them being emotionally detached and non-committal, they had to close that cycle out, okay? They had a lot of emotional issues. Um, they could have been very hard for them to be vulnerable and express themselves. So there was some balance that was required, okay? Balance is about, you know, ba basically balancing out that divine masculine, that divine feminine. No, it's about, it could be about balancing your divine masculine and feminine energy, but it's also about balancing um, logic and spirituality. Okay. Why am I doing it this way? Girl, get your life. <laughs> get your life. Girl, get it. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. Somebody coming in quick too. This literally just fell. They're coming in for this relationship quick because I also feel like somebody is fed up. I feel like somebody has had a lot of chances to get it right and they hadn't and it, someone is fed up and somebody's like, listen, I'm in my I'm in my divine emperor empress energy, and even this is, if this is soulmate, if you're not gonna get your shit together, bye, bye. Yeah, they coming in. They trying to hold up. They clenching on to you. They hold it on to you, right? Because why? King of Cups, Four of Wands. They love you. This golly, this is like a deep soul tie. I feel like even when you guys are apart, you feel this pull. Like y'all can't really let each other go. Woo wee. There's probably gonna end up being a part two because <laughs> I feel like I owe y'all that. And I'm I'm okay with giving y'all a part two. Okay. I'm okay with giving y'all a part two. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So we have the Eight of Swords, we have the High Priestess, and the Judgment card. There was definitely a point, like, judgment. I feel like that spirit. Somebody, there was a phase that kind of had to close out. So even if this person reached back out to you, they probably went ghost again because there were some things that they still hadn't closed out. And the universe was urging them to. So there was this, you could feel like things were stuck. It wasn't necessarily stuck. There were just some residual things that had to get cleaned up before you guys could propel into something new. Like somebody still had to ascend. Okay? This person is very curious about you. Somebody curious about you. Somebody loves you, baby. They're like, what you doing? Nothing chilling at the Holiday Inn. Who you with? Won't you bring some of your friend? What we gonna do? And sip on some hen. One thing leading to another. Let the party begin. Six of Pentacles reverse. This is definitely a one-sided relationship. Okay? But somebody had to learn to give. And somebody had to learn to receive and step into their confidence. Okay? I'm getting runner chaser. Okay, the person that was running had to figure out why the fuck they was running for something so good. And the person that was chasing had to realize, I don't need to chase love. Okay, I don't need to chase love. Boom, four of wands. Somebody finna come in and talk to you about it. You also could have uh, multiple suitors coming in too. Because listen, when you in that divine, that divine energy, oh, people be looking. It's a different sauce. It's a different seasoning. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, I ain't never taste food like this before, but shit, I like this shit. This is some good shit. You know what I'm saying? And then your mouth gets to all watering. All right, let me get the Eight of Swords and the Four of Wands, please, Spirit. Listen, the way my mouth watering about this food that I'm about to eat, 
Yeah, somebody kept you waiting. There was a period of waiting and uncertainty. All right. But that was because you guys were in this transitional period. You know what I'm saying? It's like either when you're when something is phasing, you know what I'm saying? You can either go back and cancel out all that you have done, or you can propel forward. But before you propel or before you regress, you're right here. You're at that pinnacle where you need to make a decision whether you're going to go forward or whether you're going to go backwards. So that's what this was. So someone could have been waiting, um, not knowing what was going to be happening. And that could have been causing them or you anxiety. Okay. But this person, ooh we, they own you. We got fire. We got the queen of wands. The Hierophant, which is a Taurus, we have the Ten of Cups, and then we have the Queen of um, the Queen of Cups. Oh, somebody is on you. I feel like they are attracted to you sexually, and I also feel like emotionally. Oh, listen, cause I love you, girl. You know I I I I I I I, I love you. <laughs> All right, let's see what Guan. Oh, shit, I ain't shuffle these. Two Spirit said, baby, listen. Ten of Cups, okay? Ten of Cups, and then we have the Sun. Yo, y'all might end up having um, a child, you know, or one of you could be bringing a child into this relationship. Then we have the Temperance card. You know, patience and healing. All right, what's going on with this divine feminine, divine masculine connection spirit? Yeah, someone was left out in the cold. And it's crazy because I feel like this is a lot of self-sabotage with this five of swords, five of pentacles. It was a lot of self-sabotage, a lot of mental anguish, even though you are this person's wish fulfillment. This is so, so crazy to me. They're coming in messaging you. They're coming in. So if you're waiting, oh, they coming. And with this um, Eight of Wands and Ace of Wands, it's going to be very fast. This, this is very soon. Yeah, they're like Nine of Swords, King of Knight of Cups. They're like, yo, why the fuck did I keep fucking this up? What the fuck is the issue? Why do I keep messing up something so good? Like, why was I so fucking foolish? This person, all they did was offer me love. You know, and I kept them fucking confused in my toxic ways. Like, what the fuck is the problem? My bad. If y'all haven't picked up already, I don't curse. I cuss. <laughs> so if, if that's not what you, if that's not what you into, that's cool. You can keep moving. <laughs> um, so somebody is going to come in and they're going to fight. They also realize that you may be very guarded. But they know they don't want this block anymore. Again, Ace of Wands again. Someone is coming in and they're coming in hot, full of passion. Because y'all not gonna believe me. Ace of Wands, the Hierophant, the Chariot, and the Eight of Wands. They are coming in hot, hot. Listen, they about to lay this shit on thick as fuck. Okay, they are coming in. Because why? They can feel your energy pulling off and moving away. And I think I did this in my other, my previous reading. They want you. They want you. Bad. You got it, you got it bad. When you're on the phone, hang up and then you call right back. I told you, this person don't want to let you go, but they also realize that they were very, very selfish. Listen, they were very selfish. And they could have treated you like an option. Yeah, this person was very selfish. And I feel like like they liked being single. But it's like, I don't know. It's like they were completely like they liked being single, but they also wanted a long-term relationship. It's crazy. Crazy as shit. Crazy as shit. And I feel like they could have breadcrumbed you and treated you like an option. And somebody was like, you know what? I'm not dealing with this shit no fucking more. When you realize that chasing is a form of lack, chasing is a form, a form of not feeling good enough, 
once you realize that and you step into your power, you're not chasing. Yeah, somebody walked away. I told you, somebody walked away. And what that did was that created space for the universe to step in because this is all in the, this is all in divine timing. A lot of this was in divine timing. The universe had to step in, and now this person is realizing, yeah, because it was like you're not gonna you're not gonna keep breaking their heart. You're not gonna keep doing that. You're not gonna, you're not gonna keep coming back and apologizing. But then here goes the divine feminine. She popped. She's popping up. She's popping up. And this person, this masculine, or whoever this is, somebody is wanting commitment. They're wanting to commit. I heard it took you. It took you. You had. You were the one that broke this person out. Ooh, that just got real dark. Yeah, it took you. You gave this person chance after chance after chance after chance. And now they feel like you're, you're pulling away. And it's like, oh, no, 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 no. I got to come back and I got to give them reciprocity. Okay? I, I got to come back. I've got, what the fuck? The, what had to be closed out was old cycles. Y'all going in the same, the same cycles, doing that shit over and over and over again. That had to close out. Okay. That had to close out. 